What is going on y'all? In today's video, we go on my good friend Jared's 36 foot prowler. We go for some African pompano and black fin tuna in the Gulf of Mexico out of St. Pete. We got some nice APs on the jig. Then we were trolling for black fins and we got on a good bite of them too. So let's get into this video. See you out there. It's not that big, huh? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if it's unique. I'm not gonna go slack on it. No. It feels decent. Now you can it. It's a big fish. I've seen that tail beat. I'm guessing black fin. Turn to your left. My left? Left. Yeah. Left. 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 That's not a king. Go forward a little bit. He's going to go walk forward, Simon. You've got it like two foot down. I am, I am, I am. King? Yeah. Black Blackfin. Blackfin. I didn't think. What? Yes! That's a nice blackfin. Let's go. That's a good gas shot, actually. That's sick. First blackfin of the year. That's heavy. I think it's about what, 15 pounder? 15, 20 pounder. Little one. Okay. Huh? And that's not even unclipped. Felt a little different. Dude, look at his. That's so whiskers. long. Check that out. Oh, it's just a big AJ. I got a keeper, man. I thought I had one. <sighs> keeper African Pompano on the jig. Yeah. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. Bring it here. Oh, it's a fight so weird. Really? Yeah, like 20 pounds probably. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty nice one. Well, just caught an Almaco on the slow pitch. It didn't get on, or not, I mean, uh, African on the slow pitch. That's funny. I need a picture of that. All right, just caught this African Pompano on the jig. I'll show you the jig real quick. Little Savage Gear Squid, accurate 500. Let's get him in the box. Kills you. Yeah, I know. All right, so I was using this. And let's get it to the bottom. For that eat. Sorry, put that pink one on there. Oh, uh, you do want one? Yeah, I want to get you whichever one you do. Giving Max hope. It's a yellow tail. Look at the tail over there. That's a tuna. That's a thing, isn't it? That's an Almy. Yeah, yeah. 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 
I have you. Maybe you caught my brain. Open. I thought it was an AJ, but it looked like an Almy. That was an Almy. It was? I, well, I can't. I know, it looked like an AJ. All the meals we could have had. You got an AP. Yeah, I'll take you right now. <laughs> That's what Jared was saying about the lionfish. We found the secret lionfish spot. You're gonna net the lionfish? Oh yeah. It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a lionfish. Oh, a lionfish. In the net. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's a stungus stung. Oh. Stungus <laughs> stung. Coming in hot. Ooh. All those stingers are poisonous. It doesn't even feel like. It would get you. Oh, right there. That's the thing that would get you. Because it will get you. I'll go in. I'm actually being closer. This one will start quite a bit further out. Those are big ones. Very long. Hey, tunas! I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go under them. Actually, Thompson. Where's Thompson? Pie. You're good. Let's keep it tight, Tom. Okay, do I need to bump he's forward? He's running bit? towards you, isn't he? Good. Nice. Yeah, he's running out. You want to come over this way, Max? Do we need to bump no, forward or we good? Yeah, I think cool. I'm saying he's coming this way. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. You're good. Well, you are just pull that way. Basically, the boat just needs to turn to the right a little bit. Oh, dolphins. They're right? Yeah. Uh oh. Not good. They don't like you. Oh, no. no? some bait. Throw a handful of bait. And they're not the Tampa Bay ones.
pee from yesterday. 15 pounds on the scale. Now we're gonna start cleaning them. Start behind the gill. We'll come all the way up into the front here, the nose meat. And you got this weird bone structure that's like on the top here, you gotta kind of follow it. Wow, look at that meat. Nice yeah, and white. It's really white. Working the way down the backbone, nice white meat, it's bled well. Oh, that, this one's whiter than the smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> See that nose meat? Oh yeah. After on that, it's totally different compared to the whole filet. It doesn't taste good? Yeah, and it's really tender. Do they have much scales on them? No, not really. Yeah, it's very really small. Very little. Yeah. They got smaller scales probably than AJ. Meat's a lot better than I did, man. Yeah. It's really white. Nice white filet. Next time you see it, see that? Be cooking it. Oh, yeah, look. Most people would cut. The filet right there. Yeah, that's and definitely that. different meat. It's totally different. All right, now we're gonna cook our AP up. Here's the filet, all our filets, and uh, let's get into it. All right, so here's the AP I've cut up. In the video when we were cleaning it, Jared said that this head meat piece tastes a lot different than the regular piece that's right next to it. So let's test the difference and let's cook them up. All right, so what I did, mixed up an egg. And then we're gonna try some Old Bay on fish, which I have not done yet. So take our fish, dip it in the egg, like so, and dip it in the Old Bay. So you have it like that, put it back on the plate, take your next filet, dip it in the egg, Put it on the old bed, like so. Collect all it up, and it looks like so. Need to add some more old bay to the plate. All right, so we got our African pompano. Put some butter in the pan, and let's put it in there. This is the head piece. This is just a normal piece. And let's get the last piece in there. So I've got all three in there. I'm gonna let them cook for about a minute or so on that one side, and then we'll flip them over. All right, so you can see how thick they are. The different thicknesses, but that one's pretty thick, so it'll take longer to cook. This one's getting cooked decent amount, so I'm about to flip it in a second. All right, so I flipped them over. That one was a little skinny, so it got a little burnt, but these two are perfect. And once they are done, I'll put them on the plate and we'll try them out. All right, so the fish is basically done. All right, so I got my nice African pompano. And then I'm gonna make an African pompano sandwich. But this is the piece that Jared was saying tastes a little different than the rest, so the head meat. Mmm. Oh, wow, African pompano is good, but that that's a very soft piece. This is a piece just from the regular fish. Just a reg, like one of the bigger pieces. Mmm. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the head piece is a lot less dense of a fish, but it's, they're both really, really good. I highly recommend African pompano. But let's make our African pompano sandwich. 
like so. That would be expensive in a restaurant. Here you are, a nice Old Bay African Pompano sandwich. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. Really? It's a really white fish. It's almost like grouper, to be honest. Mmm. This is my first time having African pomelo in like over two years and I forgot how good it was. Actually four, like three years, but it's really, really good. And now I'm gonna finish the rest of this African pompano, share some to my parents, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As you saw, we got some fish that I don't normally catch, African pompano and tuna, but I have plans on my little 19 foot boat to go out for some tuna and permit soon, hopefully. So let's get some good weather windows as we had a decent one this weekend, but the bite was just pretty trash to be like full moon bite. It was pretty garbage. Make sure to stay tuned, like, and subscribe and be ready for next week's video. So peace.